Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming. I know it's been a packed week, and yesterday we just wrapped up the Filecoin network base, but we're so excited to be here for another year at the Web3 Festival, and also to reconnect with all of you guys from Hong Kong, China, and the rest of the APAC community. So today, I wanted to really rapid fire cover ways to get involved with the Filecoin network. We know that we have a lot of resources online, and I wanted to make sure that I can re-summarize ways you can get involved, but also share our latest updates. Some of these have just been recently announced, so I want to make sure that all of you guys can have this information here. So before I start, I wanted to back up on the state of the Filecoin network. I was at a dinner last night, and uh, Filecoin, you know, as you know, is the largest deep pin network out there today. We have over 7.1 exabytes of available storage, and we're still growing. There's over 138 million NFTs stored on the Filecoin network. And right now, this year especially, we're really working to make sure we can continue to have trusted and enterprise data that is stored and verified on the network. Jan just talked about Filecoin and AI, and so I won't bore all of you guys with more information here, but one of the big areas uh, for growth, as you know, is really the AI enterprise play, where 80% of enterprise data in the next few years will be stored on AI, and we're definitely making sure that we can be the leading decentralized storage network, if not the best storage network, to really host the world's most important information. Here's just a re-summary of all the amazing data sets stored on Filecoin today. So we have everything from UC Berkeley to working with the National Institute of Health in the US, NASA. We were also are working on backing up different chain data. Most recently with Solana last year, we backed up all of the on-chain data from Solana's history. And so there's a lot of exciting new data sets that we will be announcing later this year, but just wanted to resummarize all the different kinds of data that is stored on Filecoin today. So to back up, what is the Filecoin Foundation mission? The Filecoin Foundation is modeled um, after other open source foundations like Apache Foundation, the Linux Foundation, but our long-term role is really to sustain and also ensure fair governance of the Filecoin network. And we also have a sibling arm, Filecoin Foundation, for the decentralized web that really helps uplift the rest of the decentralized web community. And so I just wanted to make sure for those that are not as familiar with our role, um, what, what our mission is. And we have over close to 4,000 storage providers all around the world, um, as well as developers um, and contributors on GitHub. And so it is such a diverse ecosystem. We're so excited to be back here in Asia because there is such a huge community here of amazing builders and contributors. To deep dive on our storage provider ecosystem, um, we have events like this here in Filecoin Hong Kong that really touches our APAC community. Last fall, we hosted Phil Vegas, which really brought together a number of um, different players in the Filecoin ecosystem, along with uh, different investors that are passionate about decentralized storage. And so we have so many different events happening to really make sure that Everyone that is a storage provider in our ecosystem can be successful. We continue to host storage provider working group calls. These happen on a weekly basis. So if you're not already involved, definitely scan the QR code. You can see the Telegram and WeChat channels, and we highly encourage you guys to participate and also hear the latest updates as SPs there. We also have dstore.com, which is a place where you can learn how to be a provider um, or have additional resources on the broader storage prior ecosystem. We also launched close to two years ago the Decentralized Storage Alliance, which is really our way to make sure that Filecoin has a track to really win in the enterprise space. And so there are a number of traditional providers like Ernest & Young, AMD, storage providers like Seal, Seagate, Picnic, um, Banyan, um, and then we are also involved with Protocol Labs. And so if you are interested in really thinking about the enterprise roadmap for 
uh, Filecoin and also other decentralized storage solutions, please definitely get involved with the DSA. You can see the website listed behind me. Um, and um, we, we have weekly calls around decentralized uh, enterprise storage through the DSA. We also have a lot of grants that we fund out of the Filecoin Foundation. In fact, last year we funded over 150 different kinds of grants, from those for developers to those supporting storage providers with innovative solutions for the network, uh, all the way to different strategic partnerships. And so if you're interested in applying for a grant, uh, definitely scan the QR code. Um, we have a number of avenues for requests for proposals. We just wrapped up also retro public goods funding for Filecoin. And so we would love to make sure that you guys are aware of all the funding opportunities in our ecosystem and can also get involved. For our developers and builders here in the crowd, we have so many different resources and events to support you guys. Actually, this summer we will be in Brussels for ETHCC and we, we will be also hosting our next Filecoin Developer Summit. And so during the Filecoin Developer Summit, we have different tracks focused on making sure that if you want to contribute to the Filecoin network, you have a place to really discuss and give your voice and opinion. And so more information about the Phil Dev Summit in Brussels will be announced very soon. Um, we also have a ton of other events later this year, um, including e global hackathons. So definitely make sure that you can get involved and also um, build with us. Next, I wanted to talk about governance. Many of you guys have been very, very public and um, opinionated on uh, the governance process, which is exactly what we want. We want to hear your thoughts. We want to hear your feedback. We want to hear your ideas. Um, so if you're interested in proposals to the Filecoin network, definitely submit a Filecoin improvement proposal. You can see the resources listed here. You can join our monthly governance calls. You can follow us uh, on GitHub and follow the FIP conversation conversation, and we also have a Twitter page where you can also engage that way. So um, you can scan the QR codes here to access GitHub, and also the QR code behind me can also allow you guys to be participating in our monthly governance calls. Many of you guys here are already familiar with Filecoin Plus, but if you are not, Filecoin Plus is a way for us to really make sure we can verify uh, and store some of humanity's most important information. And this is really an incentive program to make sure that we can validate large amounts of data on the network um, and that we can help make sure that the data on the Filecoin network is very high quality. So if you guys are not already involved, please apply to be an allocator. Um, our most recent election cycle just closed this past January, but we would love for all of you guys to be able to get involved in the next round. And also please apply for data caps to complete storage deals. So more information, again, is behind me. And then next, I want to talk about events. So all of you guys are here um, at Filecoin Hong Kong, but we have a ton of other events, especially here in Asia, for the rest of the year. So we would love to see all, you guys, all of you guys here. So starting off um, earlier this year, we had a social impact summit in San Francisco. We wrapped up in ETH Denver with a huge presence there. Um, we are here right now at Filecoin Hong Kong. And then next, we will be in San Francisco for funding the commons. We are also supporting um, a presence at Consensus this year. So if you guys find yourself in Austin, Texas at the end of May, definitely come by and say hi. Um, and then we will be in Brussels on the sidelines of ETH CC, um, where we will be hosting the Filecoin Dev Summit and also have a number of other events like IPFS Camp. We will also be at DWEB Camp um, later this year and then back in Asia for Phil Soul. So if you guys are going to be part of Korean Blockchain Week, definitely make sure to also come out for Filecoin Soul. Then we will be in Singapore for Token 2049 uh, later this year. And then uh, finally, we will be in Bangkok for uh, Dev Connect. And so we will be in Asia a couple of times and we hope that you guys can make it to the rest of our events later this year. 
I wanted to also share more because if you guys are not already involved, we have an amazing program of community volunteers all around the world. In fact, since launching the Filecoin Orbit program a little bit over two years ago, we have over 150 volunteers all around the world. In fact, Phil Hong Kong wouldn't have been possible without our Filecoin Orbit ambassadors at ND Labs. So if you're interested in getting involved as a volunteer for the Filecoin network, um, you guys can all participate. The foundation will help fund different events that you're excited to put on for Filecoin, uh, whether these are meetups, hackathons, happy hours, workshops. We want to hear from you. So definitely scan this QR code if you want to really host and get engaged with our network. But huge shout out for ND, ND Labs for helping us co-host Phil Hong Kong. This would have not been possible without all of you guys. Last but not least, I wanted to share a couple of resources in the Filecoin network. Um, earlier this year, we announced a Filecoin ecosystem explorer. As you know, there are many different groups participating in the Filecoin ecosystem, and this is not always the easiest to track who is who, who does what. The Filecoin Ecosystem Explorer has a database of over 100 projects building on Filecoin. So you can learn about different tools, you can learn about different teams, you can learn about different resources. So we definitely want to make sure that you guys can also have your project added to the Explorer if it's not already on there. Um, we will use information from the Explorer to be able to help market and share announcements you guys have. Which brings me to my next slide, which is around our comms toolkit. We have an amazing comms team at the Filecoin Foundation. We want to make sure that we can amplify and share exciting updates that you guys might have and that the rest of the ecosystem can also hear from. So our team is here to support you guys, support what you're building. So if you're interested in uh, different comms announcements you want us to help amplify, please scan the QR code here and we will, we will help you guys out. I also wanted to share how to stay updated in the Filecoin ecosystem. I know here in Asia, there's a lot of use of WeChat, WhatsApp, but if you guys are interested in hearing different newsletter updates or being part of our podcast, we do have a bi-weekly up, uh, we do have a bi-weekly update um, around Filecoin news. Um, one of these avenues is the upload, which shares a lot of exciting updates on the Filecoin network. We also have a podcast called D-Web Decoded, and we have over 40 episodes out. We would love to feature you if you're interested um, and really shine on a lot of the really amazing work from our storage broader ecosystem and different builders here in Hong Kong. So um, if you're interested in listening, staying updated, please check out these resources. With that, I wanted to turn the floor back to Ting, but here is um, the way to reach out to me. I have my email behind me, my Twitter, um, and I hope that I can chat with some of you guys after this event. So thank you so much. <laughs>